So Ghanaian hip life legend Reggie Rockstone, the grandpapa of hip life, the originator of hip life, is secretly helping Bongo Ideas to actually further his escapades. So a little backstory. Months ago, the widow lost his son. If he may he rest in peace. Bongo Idea blamed him for having lost his son. The widow went on a social media hiatus. He came back, saw it out of anger, out of pain, out of whatever. He decided to message Bongo. Bongo put it out that, you know, the widow came into his DM. Reggie Rockstone, as a fellow father, felt the need to join the conversation and add his voice to it. And you know, made a video chastising Bongo about what he said to the video. This kid called Bongo. Yep, Bongo ideas. Straight to the point. A man who can mock another man who has lost his son is a demon. Good. Now that you are caught up with everything, Bongo decided to take his sweet time to reply Reggie Rockstone. Probably one last B for the year. In a classic Bongo idea style, so of course, he held back no punches. He called Reggie Rockstone uh, an irrelevant past musician, basically. Or to quote it more accurately, he said, Self acclaimed originator of hip life genre, 10 watches seller, laughing my ass off from Maka Maka to scooping shit at an abnormal level of irrelevance. Reggie Rockstone replied him, all your club back weaker than your non-existent sex life bongo a young man with this much time and getting no girls your maids they go coachella and things you did hear the big arms get the fuck out of here later that day and somebody else says i did see you uh reggie to engage this dude is way below your standard so you know which reggie actually said no one is below me is the beauty of my mindset beautiful however once let bully slide i never built like that uh, Mbongo is a lame begging as young punk and folks gotta know the wise was set up and we no care about the foolish. And that's exactly the problem. You people keep saying like you won't let this bully slide and calling him ignorant. But the thing is, he's not even ignorant. I mean, he's no Einstein, of course, but he's not ignorant either. And if you haven't figured that out after the Davido incident, then you really are the ignorant one. He is not ignorant. He, this are uh, calculated deliberate attempts this is on purpose why do you think when reggie made that video you know chastising him about the things he said about the video he could have replied there and then but he did not right he waited it out and it's what a week after before the things died down no? because already you know he because already you know his name was already in the trends from you know posting the the video message alone he was already in the trends he felt no need to reply. He let it cool down. His name go down. It's not in the trends anymore before he comes back with a reply. The very mistake you people who claim you want to see him stop what he's doing, keep making that. You keep giving him the reason to keep doing exactly what it is he's doing. And you do not even realize it. And that's why I say he's not the ignorant one. You people are actually the ignorant ones. He's not being a bully. Well, he's being a bully. But it's not like, it's not personal, should I say. It's not like, you know, somebody who like really means what he's saying and speaking out of ignorance. No, I, I believe he knows better. He says what he says because he knows it will get him the numbers. One, bit, one thing you people have like failed to realize, negativity sells. It, it's like a global phenomenon. You, and you know, it's not going to change, unfortunately. It never will. And if you find somebody shameless enough to actually feed off this phenomenon old as time, like Bongo is doing, and it's exactly what is happening, you want to see him stop his bullying. The only way to achieve this is by not feeding the troll. It's like the oldest rule on the internet. Somebody the fool, you don't engage him. Eventually, it dies off. If you think, if Bongo ideas keep doing this whole thing, and one day, three days, a week, a month, and nobody they pay him mind, you think he will keep doing it. It's the same thing whenever a blogger posts something and you go read the comments and people are saying, why are you always focusing on negativity? I've written on a blog before. Matter of fact, I still have a blog. I haven't written on it in months. And guess what? The negative stories always top the analytics charts. At the end of the day, when you are done, you go, you check the statistic, which article got the most read, was read the most. 
the negative ones 9.9 .9 out of 10 times will always top the list and so you wonder wait are these people not the same ones complaining in the comment section that they don't like this negativity and if it's these same people claiming they don't like negativity how come the negative stories keep taking over the list how come the negative ones always top the list how come the negative ones are always on top because you are hypocrites you are not honest to yourself and it's the truth so imagine like a blogger you think somebody want to be you know crunched over a laptop churning out articles writing article after article in the name of positivity that's not gonna get read when they can write one negative one b and it would take over it's the same thing happening here you keep giving him the very reason why he need to do what he keeps doing you keep giving him the attention if you people will claim you really want to see him stop you really claim you want to see him stop if you actually paid him no mind me at this point after the, the video thing like i said at first i used to think you know some is ignorant but after the, the video thing i realized it's calculated I've always suspected that you know it's deliberate but after the, the video incident it cemented my belief that it is actually calculated and if at this point you haven't realized that and you claim that you want to see him stop but you keep engaging him in his tweets you keep whether you are angry about it it doesn't matter to him as long as you, you engage you've actually walked a step back to actually achieving what you want to achieve which is seeing him stop what he's doing the only thing you've achieved whether you react angry to it whether you insult him the only thing truly you have achieved is helped him you've helped him in improving his relevance and that's the only thing you people they achieve including reggie rockstone a person of his caliber who truly claimed that he doesn't want to see this bully keep on bullying people the only thing you people the only thing he is truly achieved by engaging him is actually extending his relevance. This long talk you people they talk, it's not gonna stop Bongo. It's not gonna stop him today, tomorrow, or next year. It's not gonna. That's the honest truth. And if you haven't realized it by this time, like you are either ignorant or you really truly enjoy what he's doing. By low key, you don't wanna admit it. There's like only like two ways to actually see him stop. One, you know, like somebody brings a lawsuit to him over the crap he keeps spewing for him to prove something where he go, you know, be lashed with some fine or serve some time. Be that might actually that might actually stop him. Either that or you people, the easiest choice of all, you would where they claim that you want to see him stop what he's doing. You simply stop engaging him. He keeps at it for a month or two and he doesn't get the results getting the rise out of you people like who goes keep on doing something that's not working and now what he's doing is working that's the thing you people don't realize it's working no matter how angry you are at him and it's actually working he's achieving his results so you're plenty to talk you know would change anything and i know that some people seem to think there's a third option which is that if he gets beat up yeah, some people think if somebody catch him one corner be and beat him up, it's gonna shut him up. No. If you touch him, the only thing he's gonna actually achieve is extend his relevancy. The only thing he's actually gonna achieve is turn him into some free speech matter overnight. And this is not even speculation because it has actually happened. Nana Ba Namwa Sewa Mehe Bridget O2, they put him in his place when he turned up on their TV station to audition for their show they gave him only a tiny piece of what he had been dishing out to them on twitter over the years and overnight i saw the same people who were lambasting this guy make a 360 make a quick u-turn to get on this guy's side and defend him against what anaba and amwa and co did insulting them calling them unprofessional etc etc and that was just verbal so imagine so imagine if somebody actually touches him put their hands on him it would turn him into some victim overnight just like it did with the old Anaba situation except times 10. so if again so if you truly want to see him stop everybody reggie rockstone whoever who claim you want to see him stop it is simple ignore the truth don't feed the truth if you see him tweet something no matter how outrageous it is you keep on scrolling if you if you think you'll be tempted and you truly want to see him stop you just block him so that nothing of his actually shows up on your timeline if somebody retweets it 
and it's really simple if not please please kindly shut up about it because low key you are either the ignorant one or you truly actually enjoy the things he does and, yeah, and that's it for now let me know what you think about this whole craziness it's sad that reggie Raxon have actually dipped his toes in the mud with this guy and dirty himself but yeah let me know what you think